Shakira and Preston are officially married. They got married over the weekend in San Diego, California. Both Kira and Preston have been completely silent on social media, but a lot of pictures have been leaked from the wedding. Some family members and vendors wasted no time posting about this wedding online. About a month ago, Kira posted a vlog on YouTube titled, I Picked My Wedding Dress, and she shows herself trying on a lot of different wedding dresses. One thing I found interesting about this video is these are the tags Kira listed on her wedding dress shop with me video. Pregnancy, mommy, mommy channel, pregnancy update, hospital bag, baby boy, third trimester, nursery tour. Tags are descriptive keywords you add to your video to help viewers find your content. And the tags she used for this video have nothing to do with this video. Since she's tagging baby boy on her YouTube videos, it makes me think Kira and Preston are hoping for a baby boy first. Kira said her budget for a wedding dress was two to $3,000. Google says the average price of a wedding gown is typically between $1,800 to $2,500. Now let's check out Kira's wedding dress. Here's the back of her dress and it looks like Preston is wearing a light gray suit. A lot of their guests are wearing black, so it seems like that's something Kira and Preston requested. Now they're doing a champagne toast and Preston is looking off to the side. Maybe someone is talking to him or something. I'm not quite sure, but this picture gives us a better view of the front of Kira's dress. This is probably their first dance and the video on the left is a girl from TikTok who's wearing Kira's dress. She styled the dress a little differently than Kira. She has her straps off her shoulders. Someone on Reddit said, I knew the straps looked odd, LOL. It looks so much better off the shoulder. I wonder if she wore them down for some of the wedding, but up for the dance and the toast so she could move her arms. I'm sure she never got it altered. A week ago, she said she still needed to. That's not how it works. Definitely not enough time. Here's Kira's makeup and hair before and after. During one of Kira's Instagram lives, I remember Kira and Preston saying they wanted their wedding to be not just a wedding, but an experience. So they hired a few different vendors to come to the reception. Spa all set up for the tiny tattoos. I'm so excited. Ready? have a tiny tattoo artist there who can give a tattoo to any guest who wants a tattoo and you can choose from any of these tattoos. A cowboy boot, the word lover, a martini glass, a teddy bear, a knife, 2024, and more. It's gonna be so fun! And someone got a knife tattoo. I believe this is Kira's brother. He got a knife behind his ear, and that's Jess fam over there holding his hand. Jess's husband, Chris, was also at the wedding. Chris and Jess also have threesomes. Jess has talked about this many times on her platform, and we know that Kira and Preston have threesomes. They've been very open about their sex life as well. I do wonder if the two couples have ever hooked up, flirted, anything like that. The tattoo artist posted this picture. She said, cutest tattoo if you need a wedding. Tattoo artist, I'm your girl. So we can't see this person's face, but I think that's Kira. She has the same color hair as Kira. She's wearing a white dress. She called Oscar Tushy Bear in one of her Instagram posts. Someone posted it here for reference. If that's Kira's arm, I wonder why she would get a teddy bear to remember her wedding by. I wonder what the significance there is. Here's some of their decor. It says, welcome to the wedding of Kira and Preston, January 5th, 2024. Kira also had an artist there and the artist took this video. She said, I didn't get a chance to take too many videos or photos, but here are a few. Some people are saying the venue was too large. They didn't have enough people to fill the space. And so it makes it look like no one was there. Kira has said many times that they were going to have a small wedding. Only really close friends and family would be there. This venue was booked the night after Kira's wedding for a birthday party. That's the picture on the left. The picture on the right is Kira's reception. As you can tell from the screenshot, this room can hold a large group of people. Kira and Preston did not have a large wedding. They didn't want a large wedding, but they rented a large venue. These two guys have to be Preston's brothers. They look just alike, don't they? Looks like they had some type of photo op where you could 
put hats on and sunglasses and take pictures. And for a split second, I thought that was Hannah. I don't think Kira would invite Hannah to the wedding and I don't think Hannah would go to the wedding. She's in a relationship now and she looks very happy, but just for a split second, I thought that was Hannah. I think it was the hair color that kind of threw me off for a second. Here are a few more pictures of the vendors setting up and someone got Kira and Preston's wedding date tattooed behind their ear in braille. I don't know if that's Preston. Preston's hair doesn't look that short on the side. Who would get Kira and Preston's wedding date tattooed on their body? If you know who this is, let us know in the comments. Remember this video where Kira addresses the haters? She claims that a hater went on to The Knot and created a fake wedding website for their wedding. Um, so somebody went on The Knot and created a website for us and people are going onto this website, haters, and writing messages making it seem like it's coming from our family and friends. Look, I've done some dumb things in my life, but I am not that stupid. I know how much these haters like have dedicated their lives to hating me at this point. I wouldn't create a website that anybody could ever find or have access to that wasn't a direct person that's being invited. Basically what I'm trying to say is it's not real. Thank you to those of you who messaged. I know it was coming from a good place and that you just wanted me to see the crazy stuff that was apparently being said by sources, <laughs> but it's not real. Reddit is calling Kira out. They think she's lying. Remember when someone found her guest list? It was public. The date said January 5th for her wedding. She swore it wasn't hers. It obviously was, but it's even worse. Her actual wedding date was the date listed because that obviously wasn't created by a hater. Also, the hotel that was listed on the website is the one where the wedding was, LOL. The screenshot on the left is straight from the leaked wedding registry, which... On this leaked wedding registry, they have the exact hotel where Preston and Kira got married. We know that because the tattoo artist tagged the hotel. Someone on Reddit said, so how would the haters know the hotel where you're getting married? It even said they reserved a block of rooms and what a coincidence that her friend Joey stayed at that same hotel. That's why she was so heated in the Instagram stories. She in fact is dumb enough to forget to put a password. Kira is a liar. What are the chances of the hater getting all of the information right about Kira's wedding? They got the date right, the location right. What do you think about this? Do you think Kira is lying? Do you think she actually created this website and just denied it when she got called out? Or do you think a hater did it? Also, Jess Fam did get a tattoo. I don't know what she got but she got one on her forearm. I think we'll see a long video on Jess Fam's channel in a few weeks all about Kira's wedding and this tattoo. So what do you think about Kira and Preston's wedding? Did you like her dress? Let me know what you think about everything down below. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines today. See you next time.